Kate. So for today's video there's a trend going around where you do half of your face how you do your makeup now and the other half of your face how you did your makeup back in 2018. So I thought I'd try this because I think my makeup has come a long way and I'm much happier with how it looks now to how it looked back then. So I'm going to start with my brows which I don't really do very often anymore in uh, 2021 however I do occasionally and I definitely did back in 2018 so I'm gonna start with the 2018 brow just because it's bad I used to use the Barry M brow pencil but in the medium dark shade instead of the light shade which is what I use now so I did the same thing I brushed through my brows but then instead of creating the brow shape I like I literally followed the brows I have and I like really scrubbed it in there Now on the other side, um, I like to use an angle brush and a brow pomade and I just flick a couple of hairs just into Now I always have carved out the underneath of my brow and primed my lids with concealer so I'm going to go ahead and do that Okay, so I'm going to start with the 2021 side. I like to play with lots of different colours, um, styles, like I'm always playing around with my eyeshadow. Today we're going to do a blue and a green look because I'm not scared of colour too much. I like to play. So I'm going to take a light blue shade. And I'm going to take a green. And taking a bit of yellow. I'm going to just buff the edge of the green. And then I'm going to take a darker blue and a darker green to deepen. Something that I have to do for this look is a cut, half cut crease, which I don't actually do nearly as much anymore. Um, I just can't be bothered, but I still love a cut crease. So we're going to go ahead and do it. And then I'm going to set that with a light blue shade. I literally cannot do a look without glitter, so I'm going to take a shimmery blue shade on my finger. This is a new technique I've enjoyed doing. And I'm just going to press that onto the cut crease area. Now, back in 2018 was when I actually started experimenting with colours, but I would do like single colours on an eye. I wouldn't really experiment with lots of mixture. My hands down favourite colour of that time was to do a pink. So we're going to do a simple pink eye. I used to always use tape or a post-it note when I did my eye makeup, but I would not line it up how I regularly would now. I would line it up underneath my eye taking a pink shade I would run that all over my crease and the, the problem was I was pretty I enjoyed using colour but I was kind of scared of colour so I wouldn't actually put that much on it would be quite a light wash of colour because I was too scared of it because my blending skills aren't very good 
So that is literally all I would do, literally one colour. Blended pretty badly. Like that. The line is not quite how I would have done it. It, it used to be a bit worse. Let me see if I can. And I would get like a shimmery pink shade. My brush and a glitter liner. I'm going to use this white glitter liner, and I used to just outline my cut crease for foundation 2018 I used a super matte foundation and I would use a pump per half of my face so I like to use a more glowy foundation concealer I actually still use the same concealer but now what I do a little bit and before I used to do a lot you guys know how I like to do my face makeup on this side so I'm gonna go ahead and do that quickly and then we're gonna do 2018 side. So on this side, I would hardly do anything. I would do a little bit of contour. So now we're going to finish up the eyes. I'm actually not going to be putting lashes on today um, because I want you guys to be able to see the makeup because really the lashes haven't changed that much. In 2018, I would do a completely matte lip. I would either go for a dark brown or normally a pink. So we're going to go for a, we're going to go for a pink today. Now I like to go for a nude. I add a gloss. So in no way am I saying that either of these sides is bad or good. This is just how my makeup has changed and progressed. So I would say I actually really like the eye makeup on both sides. I think they're both really pretty look and they're both suitable for different occasions. This is obviously a lot more dramatic whereas this is much more subtle and I actually have forgotten how much I like a glitter liner like that and it would look really nice on this eye as well, I know. I will never be going back to the eyebrows because, I mean, look at them. And I just much prefer the more glowy, natural look that this side has, rather than this flat, matte side. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below, and leave me a comment with what you want to see next, and also follow my Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Bye!